Hello, it's Mark Matosh, Jeff Markham 3D, and today we're going to be creating this falling tower physics defying thingy majiggy. So let's start off. We delete the default cube, Shift A, Mesh, add in a cube. Let's go into Tab, into Edit Mode, and I'm going to scale on the X and hold Control so it snaps. And we will scale on the Y and hold Control so it snaps. From here, I'm going to go tab into edit mode, G, Z. Let's just move that up so it's on the plane. Shift A, add in a plane here, scale, and there we go. So at the moment, we've got this piece. I do want to explain the importance of this origin point being in the center of the object, because this is the center of mass. So if I go Shift D, X, I mean Y, let's just move one over. I'm going to make the origin point down the bottom here. And I'll show you why it is important for this to be in the center. Um, from here, let's enable physics. So we'll come over into the physics tab. Let's go into rigid body. It is active. And I'm going to do the same here, rigid body and active. And let's just keep these settings as is. From here, I'm going to add in a ball that um, interacts with these objects. So I'm going to go shift A, add in a mesh. Let's just go a UV sphere. And what I'm going to do is let's do a little bit of animation. I'm going to G, move it over, scale it down a little bit. On this, we're on frame one. I'm going to come into the main screen, press I to insert a keyframe, location. And let's go to uh, keyframe 40. And I'm just going to move this over. I, location. And now if you have a look, we have created a very small animation. And these things are falling through the ground. And that's because we didn't put the floor as a rigid body and we didn't change that to passive. So now they should just stay on top. Now let's make this ball have some physics as well, rigid body, and we'll change this to animated. So now if I press play, bam, that thing goes flying. And you can see how it went flying. It looked proper. But if I now go back into uh, keyframe, frame one. I'm just going to move this over, G, Y. And now if I press play, <laughs> went through the ground. Let's just move the ground down a little bit and keyframe one. And we'll press play. And you can see that it's righted itself up. And that's because the center of mass is at that origin point. So that's why it's important to be wary of it. So for me, I'm just going to delete that one. And I'm going to build a tower. So I'm just just going to go Shift D, Y, and kind of just assemble something. So at the moment, I've just used an array just quickly just to build up this bottom floor. However, at the moment, these are all uh, one piece. So what we need to do is we actually need to separate these into individual objects. And the way we do that is by going P, P, whoops, let's go into edit mode, select all, P, by loose parts. Now each one of them is an individual part, and I'm just going to do that for all of them. Loose part, and P, loose part. Now, remember what I said about the origin point, because at the moment, this block here, the origin point's over here, and we can see that they're all the same, so we should have some really weird effects happening. <laughs> So what we do is we come over here, let's select all the pieces, go object, set origin, origin to geometry. And now we see each have their own um, origin point in the center of mass. So if I press play, ugh, everything's just going to fall apart. But that's uh, something to keep in mind when you're doing something like this. And so at the moment, this is what we've got. And it just falls behind just being an utter jerk. So let's now fix this up. So right now, if I select this object, I'm going to come over into our physics, rigid body. I'm going to select dynamics, deactivation, we'll turn that on, and start deactivation. So for this one object, we've um, set those physics properties. I'm going to select now all of it, and we're going to go into object, rigid body, copy from active. And now if I click on whichever one, these should all be the same. So now if I press play, nothing happens. Delightful. 
let's um, turn the sphere on now. Turn it back onto animated. And let's go to frame one. Let's see what happens. Nice. So, let's build a tower. All right, so we're now we've got our tower. Beautiful. And now let's press play. Bam. Ah, oh, so satisfying. So satisfying. And we should have lost a whole bunch of stuff, which is fine. So the way to fix that is if we come back into our physics tab. So what we've got to do is we can't bake this animation because we haven't saved it. So I'm going to save it. And from here, we select context. And now we've got our rigid body world and we can start baking. And if we were to turn up this to about 120, now our animation should be going slower um, as it's calculating a lot more, but this should now stop objects from going down. Well, at least should stop quite a few. So you can see that we've only had the one drop, but up here we're dancing pretty hard. Now that I've saved it as well, I've got the bake option so we can bake it. Um, one last thing I want to do is with the ball, let's come back with a ball. I actually kind of want to animate this ball uh, to have its physics. So let's go back into our physics tab and about frame 17, I'm going to right click, insert a keyframe, move one frame to the left, turn it off, insert keyframe. So now if I go back, we should see that the ball actually kind of bounces and doesn't do a lot of damage. And that's because the mass of the ball is nothing. So if I turn this up to about 50 kilos, bam, really? And it's kind of just rolling off. <laughs> but there we have it. The tower is falling down. The ball is ro rolling off. It's done its damage. There we go. That's how we create a tower that falls down.